Let's have a look at the drawing tools available in Harmony for drawing and animating our fire. There's two types of drawings we can work with. We've got vector and bitmap images, both are very different things, uh, very good for different types of drawing. I'm going to open these up, um, do a V for vector layer and a B for bitmap. And click on the bitmap line art, don't need to worry about the colour art. Let's close that down and go into vector. And we can see in our, we can work with brushes and pencils, um, but vectors have one really thing in common, which is that whatever you choose, you're working with a very fine line. Uh, it's great for cleanup. Um, great too for keeping our file sizes down. Everything is very crisp and clear. However, it's not great for um, animating because all I'm doing when I'm in this, I'm, I'm looking at all these lines, thinking, <laughs> how does it look? And um, I'm forgetting about the main thing that I need to be thinking about, which is all about the forces that are making this fire work in the first place. Just can't be doing that when I'm thinking about the outlines. When I first trained in effect animation, I had the opportunity to go to the Disney Feature Studio in Paris, see all these amazing artists, and they're all sketching away with the side of their pencils, slowly building up this image. Now we can't work with the side of our stylus, um, on a Cintiq, but we can emulate that. So I'm going to select my bitmap layer and work with a soft shading brush. I'm going to go in with the blue first, just so I can sketch in the wave action. So a fire... The way to think about it is actually like just a piece of cloth or anything else wrapping around here. So I'm going to do that very quickly to start with. So I'm not thinking about the fire shapes at all, just just a fire. Although, you can start to see that it's very characteristic already of that fire shape. In case you're wondering, I'm using shortcut keys to flip from frame to frame. F to go backwards and G to go forwards, and doing that quite a lot, just like flipping with a piece of paper. Also got my onion skin turned on so I can see the previous picture underneath. And now I'm just going to start going in here and searching a little more. I'm not going to go too complicated because this, this design is bold simple shapes. So I want to keep my fire into bold simple shapes. Uh, I find it quite useful actually to work with a few different pencils to hand. So for that, I'm going to go to uh, my tool presets. I can start to make something. I'm going to add this. And I'm going to remember that brush. And now you see I've got two, and I can switch and change just by picking these pencils. So I'm just working on this new layer. I'll tackle the main shapes first. And all the time, I'm thinking about the volume and what's going on with the rough animation. So here we go, we got a cycle of the fire animation and I'm pretty happy with it.